Hi, my name is Kenny Hart with Neometrics Technologies, and thank you all for joining us today. Uh, in this video, we're going to go over photogrammetry. So what is photogrammetry? Well, when we refer to it, we're talking about the act of taking measurements through the use of photographs. Uh, so a standard setup would look something like this, where you have a couple of calibrated and verified metrology artifacts, along with a bunch of coded targets spread throughout a working volume. And we would use this for stitching together a very large field of view, a large area, and obtain the utmost accuracy from that. Uh, with any system, you, as you leapfrog through, a, uh, through a, a, a generally large area, you're gonna have a little volumetric accuracy fall off. With our system, we can hold an amazing, uh, you know, amazing tolerance through that. So our system is the Creaform Max Shot. This is the Max Shot Nexus is the latest model. Uh, we were extremely excited about this when it came out. Um, it's extremely easy to use, which is key. Uh, older systems you use a DSLR camera, sort of like what's filming me right now. Uh, you would have your target set up, but you would take shots with it with no interface with the targets, no user you know, feedback or anything like that. You take your shots, dump your SD card on the computer, let the computer run the photogrammetry model calculations. If you had to add more targets, you didn't know till after that happened. You have to go back into your camera and repeat the process, add to it. With the Max Shot, we've completely revamped that whole user experience. So right now, everything is shown to us on the computer. We directly connect to the computer. It's still the camera. We connect to the computer. It shows us how good our frames are and tells us when we have enough and we're ready to calculate that model. So an awesome, awesome product. Um, so before we get started, I just want to go over a, a couple specs. So with this guy, we're looking at a volumetric accuracy, an amazing accuracy of 18 100 thousandths of an inch per foot across a field of view, um, or roughly 15 microns per meter. So uh, that is that more than doubles the volumetric accuracy of, say, our, our, our class leading handy scan handheld scanner. Great for small parts, individual areas, or, or things that are close together, but if you have to jump across a gap, uh, or you have to obtain a very large scan, um, this is where your photogrammetry kit is going to come into uh, come into place. So again, the user interface is great. Um, Creaform has done a great job of, of taking the, uh, the necessity to go back and forth to the computer and put it right on the, the products themselves. So the Max Shot, just like the Handy Scan, just like the uh, Metro Scan and the new Go Scan that's coming out, uh, all have their multifunction buttons on the back. Um, so this is great. We can go ahead and start up a uh, um, start up what we call a photogrammetry model, and I'll kind of walk you through the process. So to add to the uh, the user interface, we do have a uh, we actually have a live feedback field of view as well. So when it turns green, our first three shots have to be of the uh, of the uh, coordinate system right there in the middle, and it's not going to let us take shots anywhere that it can't see it, which is awesome. Um, and then it, it'll kind of drive us or guide us through the process here as we start taking more. So our first three are going to be of the uh, of the uh, coordinate system here. All right. There's our first three shots and you see our, our photogrammetry model on our computer will start to build at this point. So there's a little method to the madness here. What we're essentially doing is we're taking a number of shots of all the targets in different orientations of the of the max shot, uh, in different positions, so we can rotate it, we can move it around, but we're basically building our model by going around and around the part, keeping common targets between each shot. We'll get a complete model with about 40 shots here in this session. If you notice the green crosshair projected on our photogrammetry model from the max shot itself, that's actually a go, no go indicator for the user. If you have a good target layout, a good shot, it's gonna remain green. If it doesn't see enough targets, it'll turn red. Another advantage to point out is on the left side of the screen, in addition to the green and red go, no go, LED, LED projection, we also have five diagnostics indicators to include proper depth of field, proper target distribution and number of targets, target overlap between shots and distinct image indicator. Once we're done, I'm going to press the checkbox here. Again, don't go, have, to go back, uh, have to go back to the computer. We're going to go to uh, Stop Acquisition and Finalize. 
Okay, and that's gonna calculate our model. Now we have a few bad targets here. They're most likely the individual targets. Everything, all the coded targets look green. The scale bars are green, but we can get rid of these. What these mean is they're a little too high on our, on our standard deviation. Um, basically where the, where the scanner placed them, it, it wasn't quite sure. So what we're gonna do is we can go to the, we can go right here on the screen here, or we can go back into our menu. And I'm gonna go down to clean photogrammetry model. So what this is gonna do, I'm gonna say okay, is it's gonna get rid of bad frames. I don't think we had any, but if you did take a couple of bad shots, it'll go through and clean those. It's also gonna get rid of all of our bad points and recalculate our model. So we're pretty much ready to go. We can, um, we can go back in here. We can inspect, we can go right to inspection. All right, we're gonna have to finalize the model again, um, but we're gonna do that right when we add scan. So what we wanna do now is go right into the 3D scanner. So I'm gonna click add scan. It's gonna ask, would you like to finalize the model again? Um, because we deleted those, it wants to go through and run its calculations one more time. All right, and now it's gonna dump us, again, user interface is great, dumps us right into the VX Elements scanning module and we're ready to go. There's nothing else we have to do. We don't have to click anything on the computer. We simply set the max shot down, pick up our handy scan, okay, and go right into scanning. So I'm gonna start my scan up, and we're gonna come over here, and at this point, it's just like using the handy scan with anything else. We're gonna scan right on top of this, uh, this transmission housing. Typically with a handy scan, what we would have to do is target between what we want to scan because we've already targeted those up with the coded targets. It knows where they exist in space together. So I can just go right over to my little wing here and shoot it in. So that's going to wrap up the little office demo I've got. But here's a, a real life application where we targeted up the side of a, an aircraft. You can also use it for things like this auto body frame so we can shoot those targets in, align those targets to the CAD model, and actually use the targets themselves for optical probing. Of course, you can use this with any other creiform equipment, but we can take those targets and get live deviations at that locations across the model as well, which is, which is a great feature. We can also use those targets to optically probe service features as well. Well, that's gonna wrap up our presentation today. Again, that was the Creaform Max Shot Next for a photogrammetry system, the main subject of our video. And the 3D scanner is the brand new Creaform Handy Scan Black Elite. Click the link below, go check them out today, and thanks again for joining us.